Hello, Miss Katie again here, and today I'm going to read you a little book. I really miss reading books with you guys in class, so we'll have to just go from here. This is called How Does Your Garden Grow? This book is illustrated by Brenda Clark and Debbie Perna, and it's written by Pat Patterson. An earthworm was crawling along. Suddenly, the earth around him started to crack and crumble in a most alarming way. Hey, what's going on here? The earthworm asked himself. He wriggled his long pink body up through the soil to find out. There he is. No wonder the earth was moving. Someone was digging with a spade. It was a girl. To the earthworm, she looked very big. The earthworm crawled to a safe corner of the garden. There, he was joined by a caterpillar, an ant, and a snail. Can you see our friends here? The girl, whose name was Gailey, dug, hoed, and raked. Her little brother, Sebastian, helped her. Here we can see Gailey and her brother and all the guys down here. This was the first time Gailey had ever made a garden of her very own. When the earth was ready, Gailey carefully planted some seeds. There she is, very carefully planting one, two, three seeds. It's raining, exclaimed the snail. I'm going inside my shell to stay dry. Oh dear, said the caterpillar, crawling under a leaf at the edge of the garden. When my fuzz gets wet, I look like a worm. Ugh. Don't be rude, said the earthworm. Actually, the ant announced, it's not raining. That girl is watering the seeds to make them grow. When Gailey finished watering, she tried to roll up the hose. By mistake, she got all tangled up. Her little brother's laughing at her. Oops. Later, a flock of birds flew into the garden. The earthworm was afraid of being eaten, so he hid underneath the soil. The sparrows only ate seeds. Oh, thank goodness, he's okay. He's hiding. And to frighten away the birds, Gailey and Sebastian made a scarecrow that fluttered in the breeze. The birds stayed away. That's so cool. Have you ever made a scarecrow? Hooray! The radishes are up, shouted Gailey a few weeks later. But those are only green leaves, complained Sebastian. Where are the red round parts? The red parts are underneath the ground, said Gailey wisely. They need more time to grow. There's our earthworm, our snail, our ant, and our caterpillar all in the garden. Later, Gailey dug up a radish to see how big it was. The round red part was too tiny to eat. So Gailey put the radish back and put, packed the earth back around it. As the vegetables grew, so did the weeds. Some weeds were harder to pull out than others. Once, when Sebastian pulled out one, he topped over, just missing the earthworm, the snail, the caterpillar, and the ant. One day, Gailey discovered some green little bugs on her tomato plants. Uh-oh. She went to her mother for advice. Those green bugs are called aphids, Gailey's mother said. 
They are bad for plants. Oh, shoot. You see all these little buggies here? Wonder what she's gonna do. What a peculiar smell, exclaimed the ant after Gailey and her mother planted flowers called marigolds around the tomatoes. There's the marigolds. The little green bugs did not like the marigold smell and soon the aphids were gone. Good riddance to bad rubbish, said the earthworm. How dare you, replied the ant. Some of my best friends are aphids. Uh-oh. The argument grew so fierce that they didn't notice anybody coming. What do you see? I see something. But Sebastian was the stranger. He ran to Gailey. He shouted, there's a tiger in your garden. Oh my gosh, I see the tail. Sebastian's family knew that sometimes he made things sound way bigger than they really were. But the family was careful just in case. There was no tiger in the garden. It was just a large ginger cat. Oh my goodness, and who do you see down here? Then came the day that Gailey picked many kinds of delicious, fresh vegetables. For a while, the earthworms rode on the basket. Then Gailey saw him and put him on the ground. Oh look, there he is. She put him back on the ground and the earthworm wriggled back into the garden. As he got there, Gailey and her family gave three cheers. The earthworm thought they were cheering for him but they were really cheering for Gailey and her wonderful garden. Hooray! Aww, and there's our little friends. The end. I hope you guys can go and plant some seeds of your own in your own garden. All right, I'll, t I'll talk to you all later. Have a good day.